Hello and welcome back. My name is Adam Gordon, an entertainer here at IT Bro TV, back with another fun-filled episode about how to improve your ability to use Zoom. Join me here, we're gonna take a look at how to share a screen from a meeting using an iPad. Pretty interesting, cool, and important set of skills you need to have if you're gonna be using Zoom and using it with iTechnology. What I have done, see how I did that? I have set up a meeting already, and we have a meeting in progress. Now we're gonna be able to do this from two different devices. I'm gonna actually share the screen from the device we're looking at right now. Once I share the screen, we're gonna be able to see the outcome of that on the other device through a little IT Bro TV magic. We've actually got Corolla here in the studio with us handling our handy cam. She's gonna show us what's going on in just a minute. Now, I've already started the meeting. We're skipping over how to do that. We have other episodes in our How to Use Zoom serial that show you how to set up a meeting. So I'm joining the meeting already in progress. And what I'm gonna do is go up to the top of the screen where it says Share Screen, a little green button at the upper right hand corner and you'll see I've selected it I'm gonna click on screen and we get this nice little pop-up that says screen broadcast zoom is the icon or the app that is listed right underneath with the icon it's the only one available because we want to broadcast our screen from the zoom meeting we're gonna start broadcast and notice at the bottom it has a red circle there it says microphone on you could toggle the microphone on and off if you want to be able to turn off the audio for some reason, I've got mine turned on, so we're set to go. I'm going to press start broadcast, and once that happens, it's going to do a countdown for us, three, two, one, and then it's going to immediately start broadcast. You can see it's already counting up. Now, to get rid of this screen, I just have to click anywhere just to make that go away, and the minute I do, we're able to see that I am sharing, but let's take a look at what we're seeing over on the other device, and on the other device, we actually see and you see the same screen, but let me show you definitively that I am sharing. I'm gonna show you the desktop from the iPad. I'm gonna open up the Safari browser, and sure enough, I'm loading up the IT Pro TV webpage, broadcasting that out as part of the share, and we see it showing up on the other device that we're looking at. And I could share anything, a PowerPoint slide deck, maybe a Word document if I wanna share that with my team, or maybe just any kind of application that might provide any kind of information to anybody in the meeting that has to see it. If you're a teacher, for instance, and using the iPad to be able to deliver training to students, maybe you're showing them a video. Maybe you're showing them the lesson plan. If you're a trainer, you're not teaching students per se, but maybe you are just providing training. You're sharing some sort of remote desktop that you're using to connect into a system, whatever it is. Anything you have on the iPad that could be used as an application could be made available as part of the share. We're gonna go ahead and just move back into Zoom. You'll see I'm still sharing my screen. And when I'm done sharing, let's say I've done everything that I wanna do, all I have to do is go to the upper right where I started to share click on what is now a red button with a red X that says stop sharing. I can do that, it takes just a second, it says screen broadcasting, live broadcasting is about to stop, click okay, stops, we come back to our meeting, we're still in the meeting, but we now have just simply stopped sharing our desktop or stopped broadcasting, whatever applications we were looking to do. Once we're done, we can either go to the upper left-hand corner, click end meeting, or if I decide, you know what, I wanna go ahead and broadcast out something else, just start the share over again, and or if I wanna give another participant in the meeting the ability to be a host and share, I can do that by selecting participants, going and selecting that person, and you'll see that I can go ahead and make them a host just by doing that and essentially giving them an upgrade. Or if I wanna be able to continue doing other things in the meeting, just keep talking, doing whatever we're doing, and when we're done, we'll go ahead and we'll click end to end our meeting. We'll end it for everybody, come back to our Zoom desktop, and we'll go on about our business. This has been the easiest and probably most importantly, the simplest way for you to provide a desktop share in a meeting by using the iPad. Something we get asked about all the time here at IT Pro TV with our Zoom serial. Wanted to make sure you can see how to do it, see how easy it is, and invite you to do it yourself. And until I come back with another friendly tip, wish you a happy Zooming experience. Check out the playlist for more videos on how to use Zoom, and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon, and thanks for watching.